Okay, today I'm about to install these Rancho RS9000 XLs on the Jeep. I got Ranchos on there already, but these right here are the kind where you can use this little tool right here and you kind of put it on there. You can load this up to have a really hard compression or really soft compression. I just want to try these out. I've heard good things about them, so I want to try them out. You know, my struts ain't nothing wrong with them, but I just want to try these next levels out to see what I can get. Okay, there's my current Ranchos in there, as you can see. Like I said, these are some old Ranchos. I had these on for probably about a year and a half, two years maybe. They're still pretty good. You know what I'm saying? Nothing's wrong with them. I just, I think I'm going to take them off, kind of refurbish them. I'm going to check the compression on them, uh, probably paint them up and everything and stick them back on the shelf because ain't nothing wrong with them. I just want to try the new ones. Okay, so to get started, on mine I have 18 millimeters short on this side with a 19 on that side. For some reason, these are two different size bolts. Don't ask me why. The bolt and the nut are different. Like I said, that's an 18 millimeter. That doesn't fit on the bolt on the other side. Instead, a 19 fits on it. And all the way up here at the very, very top, that's also a 19. I'll be taking that off. So let me take those three things off and start moving. Okay, so I got that loose down there. So my nut's on the ground right there. That's the nut on the back side. And that's loose. I can just slide this that out. But on the top, I've got that nut off up there, and all I have up here is, you know, the little bushing. So I can take the bushing off once I drop everything out. So the first thing I'm going to do is, like I said, this pin here, it could just slide back out. You can see how it moves like that? You can kind of lift up a little bit, or you just get a, a mallet and tap it out, and it'll come out this way over here. It's right now, the weight of the Jeep is pushing on it. So let me get a mallet. I'm going to get a mallet, tap that out. I thought I could just kind of push up a little bit and push out. But there's one of my lock washers came off there. Let me see if I can do it. There we go. So that's what I do. I kind of pull, pull up a little bit, and this should slide straight out. Just the weight of the Jeep is on it right now. And so once this comes all the way out, the strut should fully compress. You can just pull it out real quick. So what I can do is kind of lift a little bit, pull it out. Hold up for a sec. Let me just do it like this. All right, lift up, pull, it'll compress there. So I just lift it, pulled that out, that compressed. So as you can see at the top, this should just come straight down and out. So there's that. So now my strut's out. I mean, is that quick? Is that easy of a process? And like that little bushing I was telling you about, it's right here. And so I got all new bushings with all the new setup. Like I said, that struts out pretty quick. Doesn't take that long to get them in and out. Now, what you want to do with the RS, make sure that this faces back and your little, whatever words you put on here, like I said, you don't have to put these on, but if you put them on there, make sure they're facing the outside. So definitely this strut is for my left side because my other strut has the rancho on this side. But you've got all your little bushings here Let's get these bushings out. They give you all the hardware for the new stuff. So you don't have to use none of the hardware for the old stuff. Except keep your the bolt and the nut that goes through the bottom. That's you use that from the old stuff. Okay, now I'm gonna do this all in real time. Let's see how fast I can go. Get all this stuff done. Uh, this and this. Oh, you know what? That on there. That's perfect.
let's put this on. It's going to be a little complicated, but too low on there. Let's play a little game. Alright. So what I just did was barely turn it a little bit. Just to get it going. So you can see it's starting to raise up some. So now I'm gonna let it go all the way up on its own. Okay, so it's locked in now. Get this on there. Come on, thing. Stop messing with me, baby. that locked on. Right. Got to push this piece on there and I'm good to go.
get the pull down. Ooh, I'm get more. Dust boot. Come on, Sam. Get out your seat. All right. That's good enough right there. I'm leaving it. Yep, front and back's good. Tighten up the bottom. We're good to go. That's it, everything's locked on, locked on, locked in. Okay. Here's my old scruts. So I can push them down. Barely. So they're still pretty strong because I can hardly push them down. So I'm gonna clean these up, put them on the shelf, might use them for something one day. They're good to go.